Hi everyone, welcome to Reference. Today we'll take a quick tour of the main features of the entire Reference Accounting Suite. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can create a new quotation, add your products and services, add discounts, customize your quotation, share your quotation, email and schedule your quotation, manage leads with our lead management system, convert to invoice and mark payments, and getting your team on reference. You can go through the entire video or jump to relevant chapters. With this, let's begin with creating a quotation. This is how your dashboard will look. Scroll through and get the lay of the land. Don't worry, even after this brief scan, we will walk you through creating your first quotation and invoice. So let's get started with creating your first quotation. On the left hand sidebar under accounting, you'll see quotation and estimates. Let's start with a new quotation. You can change the title of the quotation to anything that you'd like, say an estimate or a proposal. You can also add subtitle to your quotation. A note here, reference automatically adds the serial number to every document you create. You can follow the series or change this to a series of your own. The quotation date is automatically applied to the current date. You can change this if required. Before moving ahead, don't forget to add your logo to the quotation. Adding your company branding always helps with recall and it looks more professional. While these details are sufficient, you can add further fields to make your quotation more thorough. For an effective quotation, you must add a date till the quotation is valid. The quote provided today should not be applicable two months later. Let's create this field by adding more fields. Rename this to valid till date and enter the date one month from now. Note that any fields you add here will be automatically added to the next quotation you create, but then you can always remove them later. As you can see, my business details are auto-filled. Let's start by adding our potential client details. If you have already added this client before, you can select it from the drop-down. Since this is the first time I'm sending a quotation to this client, I'll add a new client. For every new client, the country and the name of the business are mandatory. Other details like emails, phone number and tax details are optional. Once the client details are added, you'll see more options regarding taxation, currency and number formats. Select the tax system that applies to your business. In our case, that will be our Indian GST system. A default GST rate of 18% is automatically applied. You can always change that too. Now coming to the main part of our quotation, the place where we list our products and services. For instance, if I have to share a quote for the redesigning of a kitchen, living room and the main master bedroom. Being an interior designer, I would charge my clients based on per square foot instead of the regular quantity. So let's go ahead and change that. You can do that via rename slash add fields. Let's rename the quantity fields to square feet. Now click on save and reference will automatically calculate the amount based on the rate we enter. Let's start by adding the first item kitchen area. For each item you can further add a description and a thumbnail for visual reference. I'll add the square feet for the kitchen area and my commercials for the same. I'll quickly add in the other two line items by add a new line option. When you try to add an item you've already added, reference will prompt you to add it directly from the inventory. Every time you add a new item, it is automatically added to the inventory. With full stack inventory management, you can add products, check stock and automatically deduct stocks when you add an item to an invoice. For example, here reference is suggesting to add the master bedroom SKU from my inventory as I've already used it before. I'll click on it to automatically add it along with the rate. Let's quickly also add a small description to the master bedroom. 
Our quotation is almost ready. Let's finish by adding some discounts to the quotation. You can add discounts in two different ways. Discounts on each item or discounts on the total. Let's add a 10% discount across all items. I can either add a percent discount or an absolute discount. Both these discounts are applied evenly across all the items. You can further add your terms and conditions as required. You can also customize the look and the feel of your quotation to align with your brand. Click on save and continue to go to the next step to add your branding and customize it. On the customizing page, you can scan through a quick summary of your quotation. Here you can add relevant tags or custom fields. These are private to you and not visible to the client. The preview section is exactly how your clients or customers will see the quotation. You can share it via a link, email or WhatsApp. We'll explore options on how to share your quotation or invoice with the client later in detail. Once you have confirmed the details, proceed to the customization option. 5 simple steps. Choose a template, change colors and fonts, add letterheads and footers, Adjust page size, margins and orientation. Change language and scripts. Let's start with the step 1 of selecting the template. Reference has multiple template options to choose from. Professional, modern, crisp, minimal, classic and more. Clicking on any one of the templates will automatically apply it to the preview. For our sample quotation, let me choose my personal favorite template, modern. As you can see, the template is now updated and it appropriately highlights all the important elements of the invoice. Further, you can customize the template and quotation based on your brand color and fonts and add your headers and footers as well. Here, I have added references brand color purple and our header. Let's take one last look at the quotation before we hit send. Glance through and only then send it across. Ok ready? Before sharing, know your options. You can share your quotation with your client in multiple ways, both manual as well as direct sharing. What we mean here is, with manual sharing, you can share your invoice by downloading a PDF copy or copying the link and sharing it with your client. One of the benefits of copying link is that it is dynamic. Every time I make a change in the quotation, it will automatically reflect and update the link so that I don't have to share it afresh every time. However, to save more time, you can share the invoice directly by emailing it to your client or sharing it over WhatsApp. Now let's quickly email the quotation to the client. In these email settings, you can edit every little detail. Let's start by adding our business details, client's name and email. You can add more recipients here in case you want to keep your colleagues or other people from the client's side in CC. Let's personalize the email message a bit. You can also see a quick email preview. Now there are entrepreneurs who like to finish their accounting task late in the day after office hours. Instead of sending the document at an odd hour, you can schedule the quotation email for the next day so they receive it first thing in the morning. Let's do so by scheduling the email. I'll select the date and an appropriate time for the morning and then click save. Reference also has a full suite of lead management. Whenever you create a quotation for a new client, Reference automatically creates a lead that is linked to that client. You can find it here and change the stages. For an example, I'll file it under proposal sent and save changes. Fast forward to 5 days post sending the quotation. This is in case you haven't heard back from your client. You can set up a follow up date. It's always good to not miss a follow-up on a lead. On your quotation dashboard, you can also check the status of your quotation. 
whether it is sent or seen by the client. Okay, good news. You have got the project. It's now time to convert your quotation into a pro forma invoice or an invoice directly. Click on more and choose your option. As you can see, the invoice automatically generated all the information. You can add your bank details for a bank transfer or UPI details for easy payment. Let's share this invoice over WhatsApp this time. Just like email, you can schedule the WhatsApp for a later date and time as well. In case you've enabled the online payment option, your client will be able to pay from the invoice directly and it will automatically be marked paid. In case the online payment option are not enabled, you can still manually mark the payment received for the invoice. You can do this via the add payment details here or from the invoices dashboard. While marking payment status, you can also mark a partial payment if necessary along with the tax details and the mode of payment. Let's go ahead and notify the client about the payment. On marking the payment, not only the status of the invoice, but the lead, quotation as well as the individual items in your inventory will be automatically updated. With these linked features, Reference helps you to automate all your accounting requirement and save time that you can use in sharpening your skills. Lastly, growing your business also involves delegation of tasks. In case you have a manager or an accountant or a salesperson, you can add them to your business on reference so they can manage these nitty gritties for you. To add a new user to your business, go to your sidebar to manage teams and users. But before adding a new team member, we'll need to define the role and the level of access they have. Let's say I want to invite my accountant so that she can view and access all the necessary reports. Check out this guide on how to define a new role for an accountant. Now that the role is created with the relevant permissions, go ahead and invite your accountant to reference and make your entire process simpler.